Here we are focusing on the variable of surface area. The right beaker had a crushed up Alka-Seltzer tablet and the other had a whole tablet. The beaker with the crushed up Alka-Seltzer tablet had a reaction time of 32 seconds and the other reacted in 51 seconds. If the surface area of a reactant is increased, the particles are more exposed to the other reactant, which in this case was water. This causes more collisions and the rate of reaction increases. In this experiment, we focused on the variable of concentration with the iodine clock challenge. We added 10 milliliters of water and 5 of substance A and 5 of substance B. This took 16 seconds to react. If there's more of a substance, there's a greater chance the molecules will collide and speed up the rate of the reaction. If there's less substance, the reaction will happen at a slower speed. In the left beaker, there is 50 milliliters of reactant and the other beaker had 20 milliliters. The one with 20 milliliters reacted in 25 seconds and the other with 50 took a minute and 33 seconds to react. Increasing the volume of a substance decreases the collision frequency and this makes the reaction time slower. In this reaction, we set the left beaker to 24 degrees Celsius and this took 55 seconds to react. The right beaker was set at 13 Celsius and took a minute and 33 seconds to react. The warmer the water is, the shorter the reaction time will be. When temperature rises, so does kinetic energy and the particles move faster. If the particles are moving faster, they have a greater number of collisions and therefore they have a higher kinetic energy.